back in New York, huh? Yeah, just a, another nigga with dreams. I wonder how many people <laughs> go to New York. <laughs> <laughs> New York and LA. Like, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I was thinking about that on the plane. <laughs> All right, when we were descending, yeah. and I'm looking at all the skyscrapers, and I was saying, I'm gonna take over this city. I said, me and every other person that said they was gonna do that and didn't accomplish it. <laughs> but then I was thinking about somebody like Jay Z. Yeah. How he did it. Like, well, but he, and he was already here too, though. Like, yeah, he was already here. But you know, but still though, it's people, it's people that moved up here and did what they said they was gonna do. So I'm in New York because. I was planning to shoot my comedy special up here at New York Comedy Club, but um, the production company I'm working with, they hit me up. Um, they gave me a good enough heads up, but they hit me up and said they basically think that that comedy club was too small if I'm trying to get it licensed at a, uh, at a streaming service or something like that. So if I'm trying to take it to Netflix or Hulu or Amazon, they feel like the space was too small. Now they said if you just want to put it on YouTube, then it's cool. But if you want to at least attempt to get it on like a Max or some other streaming service like that, I probably need a bigger venue. So my manager had recommended that I come up here and um, perform at the club, at the, the comedy club and see if I feel like it's too small, if I feel like it's big enough or, or what I'm thinking. So anyway, so while I'm up here, I'm hitting a bunch of different comedy spots. I'm gonna go to the New York Comedy Club, hit some other venues. Um, and, and kind of decide where I want to shoot the special because if I don't shoot it in New York then I might have to shoot it in LA and um, I always wonder like why people shoot specials in LA and it's always because of, I, I mean I kind of knew why and it's, it's because it's cheaper because the crew is already out there so when you see people shooting in certain cities it ain't because they really always want to shoot in that city <laughs> definitely in LA it's, it's typically if they shoot in LA it's because it's cheaper and the crew is already there. Because I thought about Atlanta, but I know a bunch of comedians shooting their specials in Atlanta right now. I thought about DC, and I love DC, but then you start thinking about the financial aspect of it when it comes to flying out a crew and putting them up in the hotel and all that type of stuff that gets added into the budget. So, um, so yeah, man, but a big part of New York too, man, it's kind of like a, a, a rebranding of my career when it comes to like being a stand-up comedian a lot of people know me from acting when i say a lot of people i mean like three <laughs> three to four and <laughs> and uh so it's kind of like rebranding man you know I, I had to start like fixing my instagram page to make it you know very clear that i'm a, a comedian and a stand-up comedian um i'm trying to post more stand-up clips yeah because i thought you sold dope <laughs> i mean i used to <laughs> but it was only it was it was only for a short time. I was in college. <laughs> Things were different then. Uh, <laughs> so that's part of the reason why I'm up here too, man. To like kind of like put my foot down. It's funny because uh, some of these clubs didn't book me. Like the seller, <laughs> the seller didn't book me, man. Uh, Comic Strip Live, they didn't book me either. But it's like. It's funny because some I, you can understand why certain spots don't book you because you're like, oh, okay. But I mean, the seller do, do have good lineups, but I'm like, come on, man. I've seen some of the other people that's performing. But it lets you know that, like, you're not, um, you got more work to do in your career. Uh, when people still doubting you, people still don't see your value, um, it lets you know you got to do way more work. Now, I performed at the seller before, and the owner of the seller, her name, Esty. I think it's her name. So anyways, I performed there before, right? Had a good set. I remember her watching like my first joke. Got a laugh, by the way. <laughs> and then she left. And I see it on her face like, ha, oh, this fucking guy. It's another Tommy Davidson. I don't know. I don't know what like she was thinking. <laughs> but, but it seemed like she wasn't impressed by my physicality. You know, a lot of these fucking, if you move too much, yeah. they don't like that yeah. shit. Some of these spots. But it's like... I can't change who I am. I'm not finna just stand behind the microphone and just tell fucking clever jokes. Sit on a stool, Justin. That's what they want me to do. <laughs> they want me to sit on a stool, don't move, and, say, and pontificate <laughs> on life. Niggas like pontificating. It's like, nigga, how about you say something with a punchline that get a, a, a big laugh? So anyways, so anyways, trying to get up at the cellar, they won't put me up at the cellar. And I said, you know what, Justin? 
I said, you know what, Justin? Don't blame them, blame yourself. I said, don't blame them, blame yourself. Get, get funnier. Become more famous. Get more followers. Because that's what it's all about. Man, I remember credits used to mean something. Remember that? TV credits? <laughs> the good old days? When it would impress people that what, it was on a TV show. Man, you used, to, a movie. you used to say CBS, 21 Jump Street, <laughs> even Key and Peele. Fuck even if they didn't watch CBS. Key and Peele, oh, okay. You're a comedian. They're comedians. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Not no more, bro. They don't give a shit. It's all about if they know you, like you, and maybe how many followers you got. And when I say followers, I mean like 300,000 up on Instagram. Because you know, they don't give a fuck. Like, they, they don't care, man. They don't care. So I'm out here. It's almost like starting over. I feel like I'm starting over, bro. It's like the only difference now is I can get meetings. <laughs> and I have money. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot about that part. <laughs> Besides the money in multiple fucking properties, let's cut the shit. Hey, you want to know what's funny, though? I think a lot of these, I think a lot of these social media people, a lot of times don't really be caring about the money. I think they just be excited to have that many followers, bro. Okay, so here's the, the positive. If, that, if that's the case, they doing it for the right reason. Because they they doing it because they actually love it so that's great and then you know now that's when your business sense need to kick in and say how can i capitalize yeah, you monetize and that. monetize from having these followers but yeah if you get into I, I tweeted that yesterday i said if money is your primary motivation you you're don't you're doomed yeah. your happiness will be doomed now if you prioritize money over your happiness then go for it um, but that's why they say there's a lot of unhappy billionaires and there's a lot of unhappy millionaires and you know That shit that shit is real, bro. You know that shit is real. I don't make I'm not on TV right now I don't make as much money as I used to and I'm happier than I was when I was When I was working And so now I'm I'm unemployed and I just bitch all day <laughs> But I'm fucking <laughs> Happier! <laughs> the, the game plan with the special is shoot the special and um, get it edited. <laughs> the plan is to shoot the special and then uh, try to get it licensed at a streaming service or a platform. So, uh, you know, take it to Max. Um, Netflix, I'll let them laugh and spit in my face. Uh, take it to Amazon and Tubi, whatever the, whatever the fuck. You know, take it to these different platforms first if none of them want it then i'll just put it on youtube and then cut up the clips put the clips out there everywhere and hopefully you know one or two bits a hit and that'll help uh pick up my following and so then uh it'll help get me back on the road because that's the real goal what, yeah. what you about to say no i'm just saying yeah yeah uh, so that's the that's the real goal is to um to get back on the road and um, be selling out these shows because I want to be at a uh, at a point where not only do I have shows, but I don't have to worry about ticket sales right. because that that's what I be concerned about now. Even when I do have shows, like how many people go show up, and uh, and then from there, allow my homeboys Lee, you know, some of my other homeboys, you know, Reggie and them, be able to get up and perform and uh, make some extra money because I, I pay this nigga by twelve dollars and thirty five cents. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I've been going through my Instagram, deleting old posts, and uh, man, bro, looking in the past can be cool sometimes, but for me, it's the the saddest, most depressing shit. Why? That's a good question. <laughs> because you look at all your accomplishments uh -huh. and you compare them to where you're at presently, and if you're not further than where you were in the past, you're like, what the fuck happened? Like, what's going on? So everybody else may look at my shit like, oh, he did Russia. I'm looking at, wow, that's when I was the star of a TV show. Now, now I'm in New York City and I can't get up at the Comedy Cellar. You see what I'm saying? So, so you kind of compare it and then you scroll some more and you're like, oh, that's when I was on MacGyver. And then you compare that to now I'm in... But you know. let me... So... Please, yeah. Everything is about perspective. Oh, yeah, I need it. Right. So, I already know the perspective, yeah, yeah, no, no, but, I, but go for it. So, it's always hills and valleys. 
Yeah. You were just on a hill for a very long time. That was it, it was a good hill too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you haven't this is your first valley. And, and and it's not even a bad valley. You know, some people it, don't, I would say this is my second valley. I had a valley right before rush hour. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying you was on that hill rush hour and then MacGyver. MacGyver yeah. You know, that's why the hill so yeah, you're right. But uh that that was the that was the valley you were born on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you went up from there. And then you was on that that hill for a while, but so that you know you just in the valley, and then you got to do the next thing to ba take you to that next hill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, I, I know you're right, I, and I know everything happens for a reason. But valley suck. I was <laughs> I was I was seeing a, a interview that LL Cool J. I think LL Cool J and Dr. Dre they both did two different interviews, and both of the interviewers was like. Uh, you know, so tell us about a low moment. He was like, I really had no low moments. But you motherfuckers! You motherfuckers! It's been successful since you were 16. These That's niggas been successful crazy, since they was like 16, bruh. Dr. Dre was like, I mean, it was some stuff in my 20s uh, when I slapped the bitch. You know, he left that part out. You know, but, you know, but LL Cool J was like, no, I'm good. And I met LL. Very nice guy. <laughs> and you know you can't beat his ass. Right, right. So it's like, what you gonna say? But he was like, no, it was good, B. It was good. <laughs> it was good, B. And I was like, this nigga. No, no valleys. No valleys. Bro. Even Ice Cube, I feel like, had a little valley. Uh, you, you, we all seen the document. It was right before he did the TBS shows. <laughs> I was like, oh, I said, this nigga career is on the ropes. Uh, <laughs> but he, buddy, fucking made it out. Yeah, and yeah. then I was listening to an interview. That, um, no, 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 Kenan, Th I was reading an article with Kenan Thompson. So Kenan Thompson was saying, I mean, between when, Ke when Kenan and Kale ended and to when he booked SNL, it was three years. So he was doing little bits and pieces on other shows. But I mean, that's three years where I'm sure Kenan was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Talking all this shit, they, they go up in a suite. <laughs> fucking my fucking career's in the dumps. <laughs> Fucking careers in a town, but fucking no one's fucking fucking me anywhere. Oh, look at this. I'm in the corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's nice. Get some lights. Wake up in the morning. Tomorrow we got to get this shot. What a fucking. Ha! Oh, you know what? <laughs> Watch this. Coming to America. <laughs> Good morning. What what he said? Good morning. New York! Good morning! Fuck you too! Ha! Ah, yes! Fuck you too! <laughs> that was like, I had to do the coming to America! <laughs> We's out cheer. 